Hey, it's me, Crystal, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the V stitch. To start, you're going to go ahead and just make a slip knot and attach your yarn to your crochet hook. And then you're going to make a chain that is a multiple of two plus two. So an even number of stitches and then just add two more. For this example, I'm going to chain 16 times. All right, so now I've chained 16 times. And now what we're going to do is we are going to count the fourth chain from our hook. So the one on our hook doesn't count. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to work two double crochets into that fourth chain from our hook. So to do that, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain, and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, then you yarn over, and you're going to bring it through two of those loops, yarn over one more time, and bring it through both. And that's your double crochet. Then you're going to do that again in the same chain. So yarn over, go back into that same chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. And that's your first V stitch. So it's just two double crochets in the same spot. Then we're going to skip the next chain and you're going to do the same thing in the next one over. So two double crochets right in that next chain over. There you go. Now we've got two V stitches done. You're going to skip the next chain and then repeat and just do that all the way down the row until you have two chains left. And then I will show you what to do at the end of this first row. Once you only have two chains left, what you're going to do is skip the first one. And then in the second one, you're going to just make one double crochet. And you're going to do this at each end of the row. You'll just do one double crochet. And then you're going to turn your work and chain three times. And that's your turning chain. And then what we're going to do is yarn over and we're going to double crochet right in between the two double crochets that make the first V stitch of that row, right there in that hole. So you're not working into the top of the stitch, you're working in between the two double crochets from the previous row. And you're going to make two double crochets in that space. So there's one. And then in that same space, you're going to make the next one. And then you're going to do the same thing in the next space between the next two double crochets. There you go, we got two completed, and then you're just going to continue that going all the way down your row until you've worked two double crochets in the middle of each V stitch from the previous row. Once you finish your last V stitch, we're going to make one double crochet, not in that last stitch, but in the top of the turning chain. So yarn over and the turning chain is this little stitch right here. And I like to go under both loops. Then you just make one double crochet in that stitch. And that is the end of row two. And all the rest of the rows will just be the same as that one. So you turn your work, chain three, and then just go ahead and make two double crochets in between that first V stitch. And then repeat that in the next one and all the remaining V stitches for the row. And then when you get to the end, when you've done your last V stitch, then you look for that turning chain. So you skip the stitch right past the last V stitch you just did. And then you work into the top of the turning chain. 
And it can be a little tricky to get under both loops of that top turning chain and make one double crochet and that is all there is to it. Here is a bigger sample, a little bit bigger sample. I see this is a really nice pattern. It has like a lacy texture. It's kind of an open fabric a little bit, so I just keep that in mind, but it works good for a lot of projects and it's easy and you don't have to think too hard while you're crocheting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.